Hello students. Now in this session we are going to discuss about this odd man out. Odd man out. Now this odd man out can also be called as classification. Odd man out or classification. Now in general these type of questions will regularly be used in given in puzzles type of questions. In our puzzles one question will always be based on this odd man out. Now in puzzles this is how the question will be given. Four out of the following five are following a particular pattern and a hence form a group. Find the one which does not belong to that group. And this is how that will be given. Isn't it? Four out of the following are following a particular pattern and a hence form a group. Find the one which does not belong to that group. Which does not belong to that group means now except one, the remaining four follows under one category and one is not following into that category, hence that is the odd one. Four of the following are alike. Alike means they are same, similar. One is not following that, that is the odd one. That means except one, the remaining four must belong to one category. Okay? Hence, Classifications, one such type of question will always be there in the puzzles. Set of five questions, one question will be there. And regular classification or odd man out, again, similar to our analogies, there are three types of classifications or odd man out. What are those three? One is as usual number odd man out. Number odd man out. Second one is letter odd man out. And third one is verbal odd man out. Clear? Three types of odd man out. Whether number, letter and verbal. Similar to our analogies. It also we have three types of odd man out. Number, letter or verbal. Then come into this one. Number odd man out, letter odd man out and verbal odd man out are the three different topics we have. And these number odd man out, letter and verbal odd man out in general will be given in your SSC and banking, sorry, SSC and railway recruitment board. And state level entrance examinations as well, like sub inspectors, constables, group 1, group 2, group 3, and so on. Now, in this one also, these odd man out type of questions will be given. But as in banking, strictly, there were no these type of questions in the recent past. Okay? Then, let us check out. The concept of this odd man out. How to identify this odd man out? Now let us take for example 25, 21, 25, 21, 23, 27. Now let us take four numbers were given. Okay. Now these four were given in four different choices. These four were given in four different choices. As these four were given in four different choices, then tell me what is the odd one here? 25, 21, 23, and 27 are the four numbers. These four were given in four different choices. Here, the point that need to be observed here is the num the elements need not necessarily be either in the ascending order or in the descending order. These four are in four different choices. Now, these numbers need not necessarily be in the ascending or in the descending as like our series. Okay? The highest number could be given at the first place, the least number could be given at the second place and so on. Then, how to identify the answer here? Now, tell me what is your answer? What is the answer you are getting? Just note down this. Now, some of you people can, can go for 25. Because 25 is the only number which is a square. The remaining are not squares. Then you may take choice 1 as the answer. I am talking about you may. Then 21. Then if that is the case, then 27 is the only number which is a cube. The remaining are not cubes. Then choice 4 can also be your answer. 21 is the only number which is a square. The remaining are not squares. Then we are opting for choice 1. For suppose. Then in the same way, 27 is the number which is the only cube. The remaining numbers are not cubes. Then 27 could also be your answer. Then 
21 is the only number which is a multiple of 7. The remaining are not multiples of 7. Then 21 could also be your answer. Then 23 is the only number which is a prime number. The remaining are non-primes. The remaining are non-primes. Hence 23 could also be your answer. That means if you are in all these four logics, what are you doing here? We are focusing on a single number. We are talking about a single number rather than the remaining three. Odd one out means we are not supposed to talk about a single number. Okay. And among these four, three must follow one category. One must not follow that category. That will be your answer. Rather than that way, we are talking this is the only thing which is different. And we are not talking about whether the remaining three are one or not. We should always focus that way. The remaining three must come under one category. And this is not following into that category. And this is the odd one. Hence, if you are talking about a single choice, single element, each and every choice you can prove as your answer. Hence, which we are not supposed to do like that. Okay? Every element will have its own uniqueness. Hence, you are not supposed to talk about that uniqueness. You should always talk about the common point among the remaining elements. And one of them is not having that common element. That should be your answer. Clear? A small difference between these two. Then if this is the case. Hence, you are not supposed to go like this. Hence, choice one, choice two. Choice one cannot be your answer and so on. Then tell me what is your answer then. No, sir. In this one, except 23. Hence, in this odd man out, you should always talk about except. Except this, the remaining are same. Now, except 23, these three numbers, 25, 21, and 27 are what? Composite numbers. Except 23. We are not talking about 23 at all. We are talking about the remaining 3. The remaining 3 are composite numbers, but 23 is not a composite. And what is com 23? We are, not Ill we are least bothered about the 23. Whether it is an odd number or an even number or a prime number or some other number, we are least bothered about. The remaining 3 are composite and this is not composite. If it is also composite, then it comes under this category. As it is not following into that category, hence this is the odd one. Clear? This is how you need to work out these type of questions. You should always talk about the remaining four under one category. One should not fall into that category. The element which is not following into that category is your answer. Okay? Hence, write down this one. Whenever you got any doubt regarding this one, you should always go through this one. Because in this one, you can able to prove each and every choice as your answer. Okay, then. Once we are done with this one, let us start working question number 1. 2488, 3298386427944972. If you observe here, all the fine numbers are even numbers. And there is no logic in odd and even. Then, what should be the next one? If you add the sum of these letters. Now, if you add the sum here, 6, 8 plus 8, 16 plus 4, 20 plus 2, 22. What is the sum of digits in the first one? 22. Then coming to this one, 8 plus 9, 17 plus 3, 20 plus 2, 22. Here also the sum of the digits is 22. Then coming to this one, 10, 18 plus 3, 21. Here the sum is 21. Here 9 plus 9, 18 plus 4, 22. Here 4 plus 9, 13 plus 7, 20 plus 2, 22. Now, if you observe here, all the given numbers except in choice 3 and in the remaining 4 choices the sum of the digits is 22 but as in choice 3 it is not 22 hence this is the odd one do you know sum of the digits is 22 here it is only 21 write on this then start working question number 2 23 29 31 39 41 now among these numbers, 23, 29, 31, 39, 41, yes, any answer here? Now choice for except 39, here again I am talking about except, except 39, the remaining 23, 29, 31, 49, 41 are prime numbers, but whereas 31 is compo 39 is a composite number, hence except choice for the remaining are prime, hence what is your answer? Choice for is the answer, question number 2. Then, question number two, points four.
then next one yes question number three now in question number three yes start working on this one third one yes question number three now in this question number three if you observe here now 22 24 now we are dividing the number like this 22 is an even number next even number to 22 is 24 then 24 28 24 and 28 22 and 24 here 34 and 32 now the number in the decreasing order isn't it now 32 and 34 now the number in the decreasing order here 62 and 60 here again the number in the increasing order isn't it now 62 and 60 now 62 and 60 here what is happening here here the number in the decreasing order and 72 and 70 now if you observe here, here the difference is 2 between these two numbers, here also difference is 2, here difference is 2, here difference is 2, but as in question number 3, that question choice 2, the difference is 4. Clear now? Except in choice 2. And in the remaining, difference between the first and the second numbers is 2, 2, 2, 22, 24, 32, 34, 60, 62, 70, 72. Here the difference is 4 between these two. And so this is the odd one. Except choice 2, in the remaining choices, the difference is exactly 2. Done with this, question number 3. Then coming to question number 4. Now in this question number 4, start working out this. 31, 36, 84, 64, 53, 29, 44, 88, 39, 69. Now among these numbers, now this 31, 36 can be written as 56 square. This is 56 square. 84, 64 can be written as 92 square. Now these are the squares. And 53, 29, it can be written as 73 square. 53, 29 is 73 square. And next one, 39, 69, and it can be written as 63 square. But whereas 44, 88 is not as perfect square. And except choice 4, the remaining 4 numbers are perfect squares, choice 4 is not a square. That means if at all, if you want to opt for a choice like squares, then 4 squares should be given, 1 should not be a square. You should not go in the other way. That means if 1 is a square, you should not opt for that one. The remaining 4 must be squares. 1 is not a square, then square logic is applicable. Cube logic is applicable if 4 are cubes and 1 is not a cube, then cube logic is applicable. Rather than 1 cube and the remaining 4 are non-cubes. Here, and even and odd, 4 even, 1 odd is given, then you have to take even logic. Then 4 odd, 1 even, then you have to take odd logic. Clear now? And that means, 4 belongs to one category. It also these 4 belongs to one category. This does not belong to that category. Hence question number 4, choice 4 is the answer. Then coming to question number 5. Now in this question number 5, start working on this one. One thirteen, two twenty three. 335, 455, 845. As done. Now let us start working question number 5. Now in this question number 5, if you observe here, now 113, 223, these two are prime, all the given numbers are odd numbers, and there is no logic in odd and even. Then if you observe here, these two are prime numbers, and the remaining three are composite numbers. And two prime numbers, three composite were given. Hence, composite and prime is also ruled out. Then, again in this one, now squares and cubes is also ruled out here. Then take the sum of this one. What is the sum of the digits here? 5. Here the sum of the digits is 7. Here the sum of the digits is 11. Here the sum of the digits is 14. Here the sum of the digits is 17. Then check out the sum of the digits. Then what is your answer here? Now among the sum of the digits, 5, 7, 11, 17 are prime numbers 
and four is composite and six up to choice four and in the remaining four choices the numbers in the remaining four choices their sum is some of the digits is prime whereas here the sum of the digit is composite and so that is your answer choice four this class is as part of Sridhar CC's online batch two to watch full video course log on to www.sridharcc.com hash online course subjects covered in this batch are useful for all competitive examination which a graduate can write in India reasoning quantitative aptitude general English current affairs computer awareness and banking awareness we are going to cover all these subjects in two different levels basic level and advanced level basic level is useful for preliminary examination advanced level is useful for mains level the batch includes 450 plus hours of classroom teaching and 150 plus hours for topic wise test explanation medium of teaching classes and explanation completely in English medium PDF material will be provided in English medium topic wise test for each and every subject including each and every topic will be conducted and there are three packages available the major three months six months and then 12 months packages are available in three months structure you'll get 450 hours plus classroom teaching PDF copies topic wise test on all chapters monthly model test and explanation special live classes access for three months three months current affairs including PDF and student can watch all the above videos for n number of times apart from this Every Wednesday, we will conduct preliminary examination. In three months period, you'll get 12 to 13 preliminary examinations followed by explanations. And every second Sunday and fourth Sunday, we will conduct mains examination. In three months, we can write six mains level exams. In six months course, you'll get 450 plus hours teaching, PDF copies, topic wise test for all chapters, monthly model test and explanation, special live classes access for six months, and six months current affairs including PDF copies and student can watch all the above for n number of times in six months you can write 24 to 26 preliminary examinations and 12 mains examinations in 12 months course special live classes access for 12 months will be there 12 months current affairs will be there and n number of times you can watch preliminary exams 48 to 52 exams you can write and there are 24 mains examination and ex each exam followed by explanation 450 hours plus teaching PDF copies along with PDF copies for 12 months course we will send printed material to your home if you have any queries please contact us on 950 or mail us on online.cdcc at gmail.com